everyone! Welcome to my channel, Rain or Shine. This is the fourth episode of our Bavaria travel series. And in this video, we will show you one of the most romantic towns in Europe. Please join us until the end because the magic of Wartenburg of the Taba will transport you back in time. Located in the west of Bavaria, Rothenburg is one of the main destinations in the famous Germany's Romantic Road. I'm so excited! I've been waiting to see this town. Let's go! Once you cross one of its imponent gates, it's immediately clear why Rothenburg is one of the most beautiful towns in the world. Walking through its streets feels like being part of a fairy tale where the time has stopped in an ideal medieval world. All this beauty has its origins in the fact that Rothenburg had a strategic position for the Holy Roman Empire being located in the trade routes between the south and north of Europe. For this reason, it was granted privileges as a free imperial city in 1274. The prosperous town kept growing in wealth and population, so more magnificent buildings were added over the years. This town is really beautiful and we stop in every corner to take videos. But we have to go up to the town hall tower because they will close at 5 o'clock. Let's go. Very narrow. Are you gonna do that to me anymore? Yes. Be careful with the lens, right? No, I cannot fit in the <laughs> He can't fit in. Here with a backpack. <laughs> 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 you think the word? You're going to have your coat behind. <laughs> <laughs> Climbing to the top of the town hall tower offers incredible views over the city and the surrounding landscapes. It was totally worth it despite a tough climb. On top of the tower, the space is so narrow that you need to walk sideways. If you want to experience Christmas every day of the year, then Wattenberg is the place to be. Visit the Christmas Museum and you will be transported to this festive season. Holiday. Learn about the history of Christmas trees and other traditions, buy some beautiful decorations, or simply enjoy its colorful store. Thank 
Are you gonna eat everything? Of course! Don't waste food! It's not good to waste food! Both cappuccinos are for you? Yes! Give it all to me! <laughs> I think I'm gonna finish everything. I think it's a strawberry. Strawberry. Do you want more? We already had two desserts and he still wanted this. And I asked him, why? Because we already ate too much sugar. And he said, because I want fruits. <laughs> Don't forget to eat your fruits. <laughs> I sketch Neuschweinstein Castle while Chanu took his photos. Don't miss our Bavaria Castle's vlog too. After photographing the twilight over the most famous spot in Rothenburg, we headed to the main square to join the Watchman tour. And after this intro, one can do a lot of things. Our passionate guide taught us about the good events, but also about the hard events that allow us today to enjoy Rothenburg as it is. The Thirty Years' War started the decadence of the city. Protestant Rothenburg was occupied in 1631 by a Catholic army. Although the invaders didn't stay long, they left the city in a really poor condition. Then a plague hit the town, thus never recovering and maintaining its 17th century state. Going with my husband for the sunrise. I'm gonna go with the night watch. Night watch. Watchman. They forgot to close the gate. Let's attack the fortress. Come on. Even if I hate waking up for sunrise during our trips, I must admit that I have never regretted going with Chano every time he convinces me. I don't know how to go down. Come on, trust yourself. Come on, camp. You can do it. Don't be afraid. You're a cat. You have nine lives. Seven. No, nine. No, she knows. We are back again in the most famous spot in Rottenburg. We were here yesterday, but there were too many people that I couldn't really enjoy it. And now, it's all for us! Having some of the most visited places in the world only for yourself is truly a unique experience. The Middle Ages have often been portrayed in films as romantic and dreamy. However, history teaches us that for most people, those were dark and tough times. The dirty and dangerous streets of the past are nowadays a fairy tale fantasy waiting for those that wake up early. To preserve Rothenberg's medieval charm, businesses are only allowed to advertise themselves on the streets with the traditional signs used in the past.
Rothenburg is also known for being one of the three German towns that today still conserve complete and intact medieval walls. Finally, we are going to climb the walls of the town. And this activity is for free! Walking around the walls allows you to have a different perspectives of the city. While walking around these walls, I can't help but imagine how it was during the medieval times, when these thick walls kept this town protected from their enemies. Rothenberg op de Tabe, or Red Castle over the Tabe in English. If you were wondering the meaning of the last words of the town name, they refer to the river situated under the city. St. James Church is the most important temple in Rothenburg. This Lutheran church contains some important artworks inside, being the most significant and incredible Holy Blood of Jesus altarpiece made of wood from the 16th century. From the castle garden, there is a fantastic view over the Tauber Valley and the Old Town. Look who is here. Late. No, I have just started. You just started? My husband and I agreed that I will go for a walk by myself and he will take his blue hour photos so after one hour i came to where he is he still hadn't started yet it started like and he needs one more hour so i'm just gonna go down and do my sketch while he's taking his sweet time he's a night watchman <laughs> For our last dinner in the town, we chose one of the oldest buildings in Rothenburg, dating back around 900 AD. advised us to get the onion cake. It tastes really good. I was hesitant to order this, but it's good. We are eating in a very old restaurant. This is exactly where the kitchen was. That was the chimney. That ends the fourth episode of our Bavaria travel series. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please support our channel by clicking the like and subscribe buttons. Stay tuned for a fifth and last episode of this series where we will visit the capital of Bavaria, Munich. Until next time, keep exploring, rain or shine.